Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you my completely unique method for finding and validating Redbubble and all print on demand website designs and keywords for Valentine's Day. Someone asked me to make this video and I'm going to show you my completely unique method for doing this. So we're going to be using search operators and all you want to do is cite redbubble.com. You can do Etsy, you can do Zazzle, you can do Amazon, you can do whatever you want. And then you can do in title Valentine's Day. This is the base search operator we're going to be using. This basically tells Google to show me all index pages from Redbubble that have Valentine's Day in the title. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do in URL shop and then minus people. This removes um, people's shops and this removes people from the search results. So now all we see are search result pages on Redbubble. Something like this already is a great keyword. If I just type in Valentine's Day, it's going to have probably like a million results, 600,000 results. But already you can see that this keyword, because it has one extra keyword, is reducing the amount of results significantly. That's how this logic works. We're taking a competitive niche, which is Valentine's Day, and we're adding words to it to make it slightly less competitive each time. This is another good one, first Valentine's Day, 2,000 results. It's got a lot of potential and a lot of people are looking for gifts in that niche. But then this one, for example, was the first one that I found, which definitely was very interesting to me and one that you can probably make some sales with. Once you find a keyword like this, the process of validating it is very, very simple. You wanna go on Google and you wanna type in Ahrefs Keyword Generator and you wanna click here and you want to put this into the search and just press uh, I'm not a robot. Then you want to do control F and look for shirt. And then if there's no shirt, you want to look for card. And as you can see here, there is a card keyword. There are probably more keywords here as well if you look through them, but we're gonna stick with this keyword here and I'm gonna search it on Google. I'm gonna remove the quotation marks like I'm an actual person Googling and then I'm going to control F and look for Redbubble, which is on the first page. And if I open this page, it will take me to this page, which I found before. That's the general process behind this keyword method. Another thing that we can do to validate the niche is we can go on Google Trends and we can see if there's any interest in somewhere like America. So I'm gonna search for Cowboy Valentine's Day. I'm gonna hit, not worldwide, I'm gonna hit United States. And then as you can see last year around Valentine's Day, the peak, it, it absolutely peaked, okay? So we can expect the same thing to happen this year as well. And as this is not an evergreen niche, this is a trending niche, this graph is exactly what we want to see. So we, I know that this is probably a pretty good keyword. Let's try another one. Let's do, um, I don't want to say it in case I get demonetized, but you can read it for yourself. Same thing happened February the 14th. Bang, it went absolutely crazy. So we can expect the same thing to happen again. Another thing you can do is you can look where the keyword was particularly popular, in this case, Oregon, and you can set up a burner Instagram account with designs similar to this design and this design itself, and then follow people in Oregon. Another thing I wanna show you guys before we go is if I just delete the in URL shop thing is that we can use different websites to look for Redbubble keywords. So site Etsy.com in title Valentine's Day, Etsy is much larger than Redbubble. If I click tools anytime and put the past month, I wanna see if anything new is ranking. Valentine's gift for friend is a very interesting keyword. So you can buy it for your friend instead of for your uh, partner gamer Valentine's shirt very interesting. Let's have a look how many results there are Is that really how many results there are if I remove the apostrophe 15,000 results never mind apparently apostrophes make a huge difference But an interesting thing is do people use the apostrophe when they search? Apparently not so while you're going along you definitely want to make sure that you google things as well as you can see, there is there was Etsy and here is Redbubble. 
Another thing I want to talk about is the potential for ranking on a page like this, even though there, there are 15,000 results. The way that this is possible is we use this keyword in the title, description, and the tags, and we can take these keywords or we can take these keywords as tags as well, which will hopefully allow us to rank on this page, which whoever is on the top of this page, then they will be making sales in this niche around Valentine's Day. So as you can see, there are some really, really good ones all over the place. There are some really, really interesting ones that you will not find anywhere else. Again, this could be a good niche. Any of these could be good niches and definitely worth checking out. Okay, final thing I wanna teach you is that you can replace Valentine's Day with anything. So it could be Christmas, it could be Easter, it can be whatever you want on any print-on-demand website. That's why I love search operators. Not only are they free, they you can put anything into them. You can make them as varied as possible, you can see how competitive a niche is, and you can slowly try to find really, really strong keywords within the niches. The idea behind this method is to make quick sales using Google Trends, using Ahrefs Keyword Generator and using search operators to mass produce trending designs in a specific niche, Valentine's Day, whatever it might be. One of the last things I'm going to show you is we can put in text and then um, 1 to 500 results. This should show as Redbubble search pages that have Valentine's Day in the title and they have only one to 500 results. For example, this is a fantastic keyword. I'm so glad that I checked this keyword. Let's have a look, Ahrefs Keyword Generator on Google again, and then Communist Valentine's. 200 results and 100 of those are cards. Let me search Communist Valentine's Day cards on Google and see where Redbubble is. I'm gonna say it's number one, but I don't know. It is number one, I click here, and we can very easily rank on this page because there's only 243 um, results, and it has 100 searches per month. And also there are also these keywords that will probably rank the same. Um, Redbubble will probably be first. All of these are adding to the same thing, and this is a fantastic keyword. I'm sure you guys will agree. Program of Valentine's Day, wow, that is also incredible. Really, really happy that I continued this video. Uh, let's go to Google Trends, and let's check Google Trends, and also I am curious what Ahrefs Keyword Generator comes up with programmers Valentine's Day. I'm not a robot. And we'll go United States, past 12 months. Doesn't come up, interestingly enough. This does have card here, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna be a big one this year, okay? That, that's the beautiful thing about this process is that we don't know what's gonna be big this year, so by making these designs, we're covering all of our bases. Look out for the uh, copyright ones, obviously, but yeah, let me know if this helps you guys. I hope you make some sales with this method, and I'll see you tomorrow with some more content. Peace out.